Right guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. In this one I'm just going to be showing you how to fit a tight tubeless tyre onto your rim. So if you want to know an easier way of fitting it, if you're struggling, then let's go ahead let's take a look. So, here we have the uh, rear wheel I'll be using, just to demonstrate it with, this is carbon fibre rear wheel. And then we've got, what we've got is a clincher tyre here, this just happens to be a Hutchinson Fusion 5, 25mm. Like I said, clincher, your standard clincher. And then we've also got a Hutchinson Fusion 5 uh, tubeless ready tyre, 25mm. So what we do, we go ahead, we'll uh, fit this one first. Now I'm just using these tyres just to demonstrate. It doesn't matter if you've got what manufacturer make you've got, as long as they're the higher end clinchers or a tubeless, this would be the same thing applies to both. So, we got the standard clincher. So what we do is, just get this one fed. Obviously you get to the point there, like you would with any tyre. And like you see there, we should be able to get this one on by hand, like that. So that's straight on there. No, no tire levers needed or anything. You could get that one on there by hand, no problem at all. So what I'll do is I'll demonstrate the same thing, but I'll use the uh, tubeless ready tire instead. Right, so we have the uh, tubeless ready version. So you get the first bead in place just like that, like you would. As you'll see there, we'll get this so far on. And then you're left with the uh, normal piece like we just had on the uh, clincher there. But with this one, you're not going to get that over there by hand. As you can see, it's just too much there to get on. Like that. So, when it's like that, obviously some people, it depends on the manufacturer of the tyre and also the manufacturer of the wheel. Some, some are easier to get on than others. Even if it's a tubeless tyre, it depends, like I said, on the manufacturer of the tyre and the, and the actual wheel. Some of them can be really, really tricky to get on. Um, especially, say, if it's a uh, Continental uh, Grand Prix 5000 tubeless um, tyre, the original tubeless one. Now, so you get like that, then some people use a tyre lever and try and get that over there bit by bit. So you might well manage that and it might, you might not have a problem at all. You could get that on there with a tyre lever, for instance. But like I said, some of them are so tight, you'll be struggling. Now, a tool that comes in handy in a situation like that is a tool like this. They come in various, various manufacturers, make them. I'm not plugging any any manufacturers or anything like that. This is just a tool you can buy online. They're around ten, around ten pound, fifteen pound, depends on where you are, I suppose. But they just come in handy for a situation where like this, and also they come in handy as well just for a clincher tire or wire B tire even. If you haven't got the hand strength, some people haven't to get the actual tire on there. It depends, you know. I know, so like so, like I said, some people lack in the hand strength to get that over the actual rim to, to see it even on a clincher so with these all you do is obviously one side hooks onto the uh, rim on the opposite side and then that goes under the tyre bead and you just pull it on bit by bit so I'll just move the camera so you can see a bit better so 
with the tire like that all we do with this tool is on one side you can see the rim there you can see the rim tape in there as well so you just hook that on there and then with the other part you just hook it under your tire like that and the best thing to do is just do it in small increments there's no need to try and do it straight in the middle of there like that and try and leave that straight on there because you could end up damaging the rim so the best thing to do is just do it in little sections so you just put that over like that clip it under the tire and then just pull back like that as you can see it will just pop a little section on at a time that way doing it like that you can't damage anything Now we've got the last little bit there to put on, so you might just be able to knock that on by hand, like that, and then obviously you blow that up. Now, before you put your, it depends how you're putting your sealant in, if, you take, if you're going to remove your valve core and you've got a sealant that can be put through a valve core, then you can uh, put it through that valve core no problem. Obviously if you want to put the sealant in before you put the actual tyre right onto the uh, rim itself then I'll just remove that last bit just to uh, show you. So you just have that like that the last section like we just added before he's using the uh, tool then all you do now is pour in your sealant in there measure it out pour it into there and then obviously move it around like that just let the sealant go inside the part of the tire that's already onto the bead just let it go to the bottom and then you would concentrate on the top section with your tool so there's no sealant in the way or anything like that then you just carry on like we did a minute ago and just knock that on like that Obviously at all times your sealant would have been at the bottom there. And then what you can do now is just locate your valve and then blow your tyre up as you would and see it on there. So you have it. Always if you want to make it easier fit in any type of tyre for any reason. What you need is a tyre seating tool, bead jack tool, whatever you want to call them. Just uh, look online, readily available make your life a bit easier. So if you found the video helpful, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more cycle related content. Till next one, ride safe and I'll see you then.